lost my wife. And now I've lost my son. Tell me, Robin, what have you ever lost? Don't talk to me about loss, Marcus. What can I do, Robin? Be yourself again. And you really believe I can be that man again? I wouldn't have started this otherwise. All right, old friend. All right, I'm with you. You're Secret Service, right? Yes, sir. And you're fine with that whole taking a bullet for me thingy? Absolutely, Mr. President. Oh, that's great. I'll just see you later. Gone! <laughs> well? What? I yelled, gun! Oh, I thought you said crun. <laughs> what the hell's a crun? I don't know, sir. I thought it was an odd thing for you to say. <laughs> What's all this, then? <laughs> you are healed! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Praise Jesus! <laughs> A Belgian man and his 15-year-old love slave with webbed feet was looting the accident scene. They came across a blood-soaked baby, moi. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. They even got the captain involved. He proved that he was her son because she could identify a birthmark that he had. And of course, when they peeled off his shirt or whatever, there it was. Is there anything you want to say? Insomnia? No, nothing serious. The last patient who told me that had a tumor the size of a grapefruit growing out the side of his neck. Really? <laughs> hey, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, sure. Do doctors ever question their faith? You know, I've come to that crossroad a few times. And? Any answers? Not really. Even God still has a few secrets. I'm only doing this to impress my son! <laughs> Saddle my horses. I'll be leaving with the good friar after we eat.